an apparently empty hat. Not. Not. Ta-da. Baka. Ooh. Hey. Baka. Tuesday. Hello and welcome back to another Manga Tuesday. Episode 12. Yippee! Today, as requested by the Woodman himself, I will be reviewing Love Live. I don't own Love Live because it's not even printed in English, the manga. And I've already told you people multiple times that I can no longer print shit because my printer is fucked. But for some reason, you keep suggesting things for me to review that I don't own, and I don't know why. Maybe because you don't know what I own. But you should know that it's impossible for me to own this in English, because um, it's not printed in English. Why isn't it printed in English, by the way? The anime seems to be incredibly popular. You would think it would be a no-brainer, fucking manga printing companies. Fuck you, Yen Press, and fuck you, Seven Seas. They, they would seem, they seem like the most likely to publish something like that. Or maybe Vertical. Fuck you, Vertical. Bitches. <laughs> I've been wanting to read Love Live for a while, but um, I've kind of been, yeah, waiting for an English release, which I guess I have no idea. Probably will never come, I guess. So, whatever. Thanks a lot. I should probably just watch the anime, but uh, I haven't got around to it, so I haven't watched it. So, for the time being, all the knowledge I have of Love Live or Love Live... Fuck, I forgot to look up... I was gonna... I needed to find out which way to pronounce it so I could do it wrong and I forgot. Um, <laughs> fuck. So, all of my knowledge for Love Live comes from, um... Nyan Nyan's cosplays, where she cosplays a character from there who I believe is called N Nico. So, all I know is that Love Live has a character called Nico in it. And that's pretty much literally it. Uh, but it's going to be the meme anniversary. Nyan Nyan has been counting down since, uh, since you know, the hit of the big, the meme one, the hit or miss. Uh, it's going to be, well, I, I'm actually going to, it's, this is where things get pretty epic. Because by the time when this is uploaded will be exactly when the meme anniversary countdown ends. So who, who could have thought, who could have planned it better that the meme anniversary of Hit or Miss would fall on a Manga Tuesday. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hit or Miss, I guess they never miss, huh? You got a boyfriend, I bet he doesn't kiss ya. He gon' find another girl and he won't miss ya. He gon' scare then hit the dub like with Khalifa. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for any fucking the smallest excuse to do that so thanks woody yeehaw so anyways i would give nan nan cosplays tiktoks a 10 out of 10 i watched them a lot i'm a big fan <laughs> i bought this shirt as hers in case you don't see it's kind of a shit shirt but uh i would have rather just a shirt with her face on it like yeah but uh this is what she released instead so Give the shirt a mere 2 out of 10, but the hit or miss I give, um, well the song I'll give a, only a 7 out of 10, the songs whatever, but the TikToks, all of them get a 10 out of 10. Well not all of them, some of them aren't that good, but uh, most of them, 90% of her TikToks I will give a 10 out of 10. Maybe in a future Manga Tuesday podcast I will do a uh, top 10 of her, my favourite TikToks of hers, but we'll see. I also made the move, uh, this was a couple of weeks ago now, I contacted Blue Flame, approached her about hosting a Manga Tuesday with me, and um, uh, my message was seemingly ignored, so we're back at uh, square one on that one. <laughs> I had more ideas for this one. Yan Yan. Nine nine, she's cute, and the TikToks are cute, and I like them. But I just don't know what more can I say? I don't know. Fucking. 
Yeah. Manga Tuesday is in a bit of a slump. The energy has been drained. This is like the fourth or fifth Tuesday in a row now I've been doing it. I think I need to go back to once a fortnight. Because I just, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Like you keep pretending like Manga Tuesday is some sort of success, but every week it's just views are declining. My channel is tanking. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know. I thought, okay, maybe if I increase production, I need to stop being lazy. I need to commit to Manga Tuesday and it's not working. I've gained a couple more subscribers, but it doesn't seem to be increasing viewership, Mark. I don't know. I, I got 200 subscribers, motherfucker. I should get at least 200 views, you would think. But I guess it doesn't work. Sorry, Pinky. I guess it doesn't work that way, huh? Oh. Uh, so anyways, that uh, pretty much sums up this episode. I don't really have much else to say. I, I didn't really plan for this. I'm kind of rushing this one, which I shouldn't have done because I was looking forward to it. I've been planning to do this episode for a while of, you know, do Love Live, Love Live, and then make it actually about Nyan Nyan, but I kind of just kind of flubbed it in the end, didn't I? <laughs> and that's what Manga Tuesday is all about. So thanks for watching, and as always, it's time to move on from Nyan Nyan and also, since Blue Flame won't respond, instead, Tim from Discord, I have a question for you. Kim from... Oh, now you can't see me. I'm off camp. Oh. Kim! Ow! Bad days. From Discord, will you host a Manga Tuesday with me? I'm in desperate need of a female co-host for some reason. I don't... Maybe I should just go back to us getting BSW vlogs to host Manga Tuesday with me. Kim! I need you to host the Manga Tuesday! That might be the thing that can finally save my channel! Thanks for watching, and as always, hit or miss. I guess I never miss, huh? It's just another Tuesday. Today, to see if I still feel.